Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. So in this video, I'm going to try to solve another problem on BFE.dev. It's called Auto Retry Promise on Rejection. Okay. Uh, it's called... It's uh, 64? Yeah, 64. Okay. For web application, fetching AB data is a common task. Yeah. But AB calls might fail because of network problems. Usually we could throw a show screen of network error and ask users to retry. Yeah, one approach to handle this is to auto retry when network uh, error occurs. Like, uh, yeah, retry for another time or two times. We're asked to create a fetch with auto retry fetcher count, which automatically fetch again whenever happens until the maximum count is met. Okay, so we need to set a maximum uh, to avoid infinite, like uh, a quantity. Uh, Calling the API forever, right? Okay, for the problem here, there's no need to detect a network error. You can just retry um, all promise re rejections. Hmm, I like this problem. Um, okay, let's begin. So we're given 10 minutes. Mm. So fetch with auto retry uh, is passing with a fetcher, which with this fetcher is a function, return a promise, and there's a maximum try count. It's number, and we need to return a promise. Okay, if we're asked to return a promise, so yeah, we should create a new promise, right? Promise, resolve, reject. Okay, so the, the so when should we re resolve, right? I think we need to um, just uh, call uh, call the fetcher, right? We fetch. And then, if we get the data, or get the error, if we get the data, we just resolve, right? Because it means the uh, the fetcher uh, is fulfilled. And if made error, we need to do what? Retry, right? So how should we retry? We actually retry. We need to call this. Call this again. So let's just uh, I'll say this is uh, um, like uh, um, call fetcher. Let's create a function of this. So we call fetcher. Uh, the fetcher is called and then uh, handle the data with resolve. And if error, we need to call fetcher again right but there is a maximum retry count so I think we need to maintain the retry count so retry count equals zero and uh, if retry count is smaller than maximum retry count if it equal it's still okay right okay so it start from zero uh, start from zero if you set it to one then it's smaller than it okay and plus one, if it is already one, it's not okay. So, yeah, uh, equal is not needed here. If it is smaller than it, okay, we, we, we call it again. If not, we just are rejected, right? So we reject it, reject the error. Just just to reject this error and uh, let's the uh, uh, let's the call caller. Uh, which calls fetch with auto retry handles it, and uh, when we call fetcher, we need to update the retry count. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Before I run this code, allow me to check this again. Um, return the promise. Keep track of the retry count. Uh, we define a call fetcher function. Uh, when called, fetcher is called, and the data. If it's fulfilled, we resolve it. If error happens, and the retry count, still we have chances to retry. We uh, call fetcher again, and retry increments the retry count. And if uh, if the maximum retry count is met, then we reject the error, right? So looks pretty good. We just need to return, uh, not return, but call fetcher, right? I, I, I need to trigger it. Cool, so I think that's it. Let's run the code. Yes, cool. Allow me to submit it. 
yeah, that's it. So pretty interesting, but not that difficult. Uh, when we want to wrap a promise, return just to wrap every, uh, just to wrap the logic in the constructor of new promise, and uh, find the logic to call resolve and to uh, the timing to call reject. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.